Hello students, good afternoon. Welcome to the online class of class 9, Social Studies, organized by our Himalayan English Boarding School. Today, we are going to have discussion on the fifth chapter, on the fifth lesson of unit first. That is, our identities and national pride. What is that? Our identities and national pride. Yes, students, in this topic, we shall discuss about the different characteristics or the different elements of our country with the help of which we are identified in the rest of the world. In the rest of the world. Not only that, but also we shall discuss about some of the national pride. National pride. It means in our country we have we have lots of things. We have lots of things which is glorifying us, which is making us feel proud. While the members of the rest of the world, while the members of other countries come to visit our places, while they come to visit our place, what are the things which make them attracted and make them feel that Nepal is one of the beautiful, most beautiful and most attractive place. One of the top most tourism site. Such sites, such places, such scenarios are under the national pride. In the same way, in the same way, we have with ourselves inside our country, we have lots of characteristics, we have lots of elements with us which is glorifying us outside the country throughout the world, which is making us identified as the proud neighbors. As the proud Nepalis. So such characteristics, such elements, which is identifying, which is identifying us in the rest of the world as the proud Nepalis. Such characteristics, such elements are termed as our identities. Our identities. For that, today we are going to discuss some of the characteristics which are identifying us in the world as the proud Nepalese and some of the terms of national pride also. So let's discuss about some of the identities and national pride. Under this chapter, we have is national identity. National identity. Dear students, our country has a specific area, fixed area. We have fixed geographical area. Ago. Few days ago, our country has announced the new map of our, the new political, the new political map of our country. At present, I am not going to discuss about that map or that area, which is recently given to us because. That map has too much problems, 
which should be built between our country and our neighbor country that is India. We are discussing about the old geographical boundary that is 1,47,181 square kilometer. You better know it is means that among national identity Religion, 
and different others. Yes, here also again we have diversity among the caste, among the language, among religions. So, these are all characteristics. These all characteristics of our country identify us in the rest part or the remaining parts of the world outside our country throughout the world identifies that our country has this is this things it means our country has the area of this much our country has this divisions means geographical diversity has our country is we can say to the reference to this things, to this data, we can say that our country is multi, <coughs> multi ethnic, multicultural, multilingual, multi religions country. So these all characteristics gives national identity to we peoples. What these all characteristics provide to people? These all the characteristics provides the national identity to we people. So these all are the things which falls under national identity. Hope you people have understood. In the same way, in the same way, the next identity which with the help of which we are identified throughout the world is ethnic identity. What is that? That is ethnic identity. 